God bless the Queen. God bless her. Welcome to Vestholm, your kingdom. It is a pleasant land filled with dedicated, hard-working settlers. From your castle, you can see their daily lives and help them through the work of your knights, Lord Marcus and Lady Alandra. Your knights are your eyes and hands among your people, and with their help, you may rebuild an empire. Your Majesty, I am Lord Marcus. This is Lady Alandra. We thank you for the summons to your throne room. We look forward to serving you, Your Majesty. We wish to bring a problem to your attention. Upon hearing my report, you must choose one of us to deal with this matter. It is a simple matter that deals with bandits preying on caravans in our kingdom. You recognize this map. It is of the royal city of Vestholm. Our home. We have received reports of bandits ambushing our merchant carts on the trader's route south of here. Lady Alandra and I propose one of us builds a new settlement near the trade route, here in Western Glade. A strong city near the trader's route will make the merchants more secure and keep the bandits at bay. Send me, Your Majesty and I will give these outlaws a good measure of your justice. Your Majesty, while young Marcus does not lack bravery, I think a more experienced hand may be useful in this case. I bring faith to the settlers, and they donate more gold after the sermon. I can heal ill settlers with my knowledge of medicine. The direct way is always the best. I need less gold to recruit battalions. The soldiers are eager to fight for me. When they are close enough, I can supply my soldiers with new torches. Welcome to the Settlers. I've taken the liberty of preparing for our mission. Press the highlighted button to proceed. The mini-map to the right shows an overview of the area. Territory borders are shown using colored lines. You can click on the mini-map to move the camera to another position. Here I am. Very good. Let's proceed. To give me orders, you have to select... You can give me movement orders by... Easy, isn't it? So now, let us move to Lady Alandra. She is near Vestholm's southern gate. Good day, Marcus. Keep an eye out on this mission. These bandits are not to be underestimated. You need to establish a new settlement and make this area safe again. These bandits are out of control and have captured several traders in the past few months. There is an old castle we can use as a base. You'll find it if you move to the south along the road, then follow the trail to the west. Ah, a knight! Good that His Majesty has sent you. The old castle lies west of here. Just follow the trail. At once. As you wish. Select your marketplace with a left mouse button click. This is the marketplace. Your settlers will come here both to celebrate and to show you when they are not happy. Now, this is our castle, where our gold is stored. The amount of gold is shown at the top of the screen next to the city's reputation. Now, select the storehouse. This is our storehouse, where we store gathered resources. You can see them next to the gold display on top of the screen. The city's reputation is shown at the top of the screen. It's very low now, but as we build up a city, it will rise. 
Open the city information menu. The city information menu shows the amount of settlers, spouses and soldiers in your city. You can close this menu by clicking the button again. Open the gold menu at the top of the screen by clicking the... The gold menu shows the monthly taxes and payment of your troops. Later, you will be able to adjust these values. You can close this menu by clicking the button again. Open the resource menu at the top of the... The resource menu shows all resources in your storehouse. Wood and stone, which are needed for building, are shown permanently next to the button. You can close this menu by clicking the button again. Let's start building our settlement. Very good. F we should put the woodcutter's hut in a good spot. Close to the trees, east of the marketplace, would be a good building place. New settlers come out of the storehouse. The woodcutter is on his way to create his new building. Settlers like the woodcutter will get hungry during working. To get some... Our settlers don't eat raw meat. We have to construct a butcher's shop near the... Very good. The basic buildings are in place. The hunter will hunt deer and deliver this resource to the storehouse. The butcher takes an animal carcass out of the storehouse to produce sausages from it. The sausages are stored in the shelves in front of his building. Hungry settlers go to a food provider like the butcher to get food. If no food is available, they go on strike at the marketplace and the city's reputation decreases. Excellent! As you know, new settlers will arrive when you create a building for them. This is also true when you upgrade an existing building. Select a woodcutter's hut and press the upgrade button over the build. A new settler will come out of the storehouse, upgrade the building and help working there. Let's follow him until the building has been upgraded. Gathering buildings can transport their resources faster with a handcart now. In producing buildings, like the butcher's shop, having more people increases the building's effectiveness. We've now set up the basics for our settlement. But before we proceed, we have to produce enough food. Open the food menu at the... The food menu shows the amount of food resources in your storehouse and the amount of food goods in your city buildings. You build more hunter's huts and butcher's shops and produce sausages. Move your mouse over a butcher's shop building to see how many sausages are available there. Our settlers gather wood and produce food. The basics are set. Now we're ready to protect our settlement from the bandits. To do this, the next step is to promote me to sheriff. Open the night promotion menu. The night promotion menu shows the preconditions needed to promote me to a higher title. You can close this menu by clicking the button again. Young Marcus, as you know, reaching the rank of sheriff is an important step to making this region safe. Marcus, I'm sending you some stone. You will need it to upgrade your castle. I bear grim tidings, Marcus. Bandits are blocking the shipment of stone. It's up to you. Claim land and gather the stone. Heavens watch over you. To gather stone, we need a stone quarry. There is a stone quarry in the territory of Vestwood Curve. Please send me there, my leech. Bandits have captured a cart. Aye. As you wish, at once. To get access to the stone quarry, we must claim this territory. Please select the outpost button and place an outpost on this territory to claim it. A construction worker will come from the storehouse and construct the outpost. The territory will be ours when the outpost has been created. We claimed a territory. The outpost has been built and the territory is ours. Now we can build two stonecutters huts near the stone quarry to gather stone. You can rotate buildings before placing them. We should build a trail to connect the stonecutter's hut to the marketplace. Select the trail button, then click to select the start and destination of the trail to be built. Excellent! The stonecutter's huts have been built up and the stonecutters will start to gather stone. Now that you have more settlers, you will also need more food. 
Because of the bandits, I cannot send the clothes that your settlers will need. Young Marcus, please give the order to build two tanneries to enable the settlers to produce leather clothes themselves. We have enough stone now. Select the castle and upgrade it. When you give the order, the settlers will come and do the job. The castle looks very nice, Your Majesty. We're doing well. Very good. Don't forget that we need more food for our new settlers, Marcus. Once we have produced the clothes, we can see about making you Sheriff of Vestholm. You can rotate the camera to look around. Please try it, and then switch back to the default camera angle. On our way! If I may, I will note that I am due recognition for my services to you. Well done, Marcus. The settlers do not need clothes yet, but they will want them when you become Sheriff of Vestholm. I have served well, my liege. Am I not due a promotion? My liege, I appreciate that you have granted me this title. Congratulations on the new title, Marcus Sheriff of Vestholm. Some royal troops have returned from patrol, and I will send them to you. Bandits are attacking our settlement. As you command. Forward! These bandits are misguided. They have no chance of success against our forces. have been destroyed. Now they can no longer harm the settlers or raid the traders. My congratulations, Your Majesty. We solved this challenge calmly and effectively. Of course, you had some help. But the question is, why did these carts come all the way from Chalia without guards? What is going on over there? 